This is a video response. Well, kind of a video response. Um, there's a person that I watch, Royale with Cheese. Um, I'll put his little, his actual how you spell it and everything on here somewhere. Maybe on the side. Over there. Over there. Wherever. Um, it's his video is called Bitches and Gripes, and he does it, like, once a week. It's called Bitches and Gripes, Thursday or whatever. And he just wants people to share their bitches and gripes. So here's my bitch and gripe for the week. I still have um, a rodent problem in my house. Um, I came home from my parents. I spent, like, two weeks at my parents over the holidays <clears throat> and my cousin had been looking after my rabbit while I was gone and she told me when she came up for Christmas she said like there's mice all over your house they're not even attempting to hide now <laughs> and I'm like oh shit so she was all freaked out and I knew I had mice but at least they were decent enough to hide they like I never saw them I just knew I had them and my house is like 85 years old, so that's why I have mice, because there's like tons of ways to get in here, and it's cold, so they're coming in from outside. And, um, I don't know what they're eating, because all my food is, like I don't have food laying around or anything. It's all in Tupperware or plastic organizers. Um, she told me they were eating the rabbit food. And when I came home, I saw five of them scurry and go down like the air. I have big square um, wrought iron grates like the old fashioned kind and I saw them duck down like run in there. They were just little tiny baby ones so I know that either the mice that live here have been multiplying or they've been telling their friends that this is party central so one or the other. And I've <clears throat> when I first found out I had mice, uh, I went out and bought like the snappy traps that smush their heads. Even though I really didn't want to kill mice, that's what my dad told me to do. So I went and bought like 10 traps and I set them. And the mice set off all the traps, ate the peanut butter off the traps, and then just like, it's like a big screw you basically. I don't know if they're smart or if they're too light to set the traps off, but... I didn't get not even one. Um, I had two mice die in my house. One drowned itself in my dishwater. And the other one got stuck in a drawer that I don't use. And died. I don't know how it got in there. And I don't know how it got stuck. But it did. Um, what else? Okay, so I come home. And there's like rabbit hay everywhere and I see the mice I'm like what the hell am I gonna do so my mom says <clears throat> you have to buy a cat you have to go get a cat and the mice will stop coming or whatever so I'm thinking I'm gonna get a cat and I don't really want one because I have two dogs and a rabbit already and when I go somewhere I take the dogs with me like if I go home to my parents, I take the dogs with me, but I leave the rabbit here and I'm pretty much depending on my cousin to keep my rabbit alive because she usually doesn't come with me. So she comes and checks on him, checks his water and he, like he's got two huge water jugs and two huge things of food, but I'm always worried that something will happen while I'm away. And I don't want to have to deal with that with a cat. And I'm not, like I like cats. And I've owned them before, well, my family has, and my ex-fiance. But I'm not really a cat person. I think they're snobby, and most of the time they're not affectionate. They're just, whatever, I don't need you. And I like my animals to be affectionate, so I'm not really a cat fan. So what I did was, I went to Canadian Tire, which is like, people who aren't from Canada, it's like a, it's kind of like Home Depot, <clears throat> a 
only with like car parts and shit. Um, and I bought these probably like one foot by one foot, like 12 inches by 12, whatever. It's this big square, where's, it's about this big, and it's got a clear top, and it's metal. And it's got two entrance holes at the back, and the mice go in the holes, but they can't get back out. So you just put food in there, and then the mice go in to get it, and then they can't get back out. So I bought two, and they're like 16 bucks each, but I don't want to kill these mice, so it's worth it. And I put one downstairs near the rabbit cage, and I put one in my room because they come in my room to steal my dog food. And, um, <laughs> I didn't even have them down for like four hours, I think, is I had it down for. And I went downstairs to let the dogs out because they go off, they go out the kitchen, the back door in the kitchen. And that's where the mice were. And I look in the thing, and there's eight mice in the one trap. And I was like, holy shit, that's insane. And then I just caught one in the upstairs one. Well, I didn't catch it, he caught himself. And then yesterday, or last night, I'm hoping to catch more in the upstairs one because they keep coming in my room. And then I go to go to the bathroom and I see five fucking mice run. When I open my bedroom door, the bathroom's right across the hall. And they run from the corner. There's like a, there's a garbage bag there from, um, it's just like paper and stuff. Uh, because I clean the house and then I just put it at the top of the stairs and then I was going to bring it outside. And they were trying to get into this garbage bag or they were in the garbage bag, I guess. Uh, something smells like food in there or there's, I don't know why they like it, but five of them ran and they ran right past me. And um, so I put the trap out there, knowing that they're going to this paper-filled garbage bag. And every time I go out my bedroom door, I see them run, but I'm not catching any in that trap, and it's really pissing me off. And I don't like pests. Like, I, I don't have a problem with mice. If I had them as pets, it wouldn't bother me. But having them run around my house... It feels dirty, like it feels, it just feels gross. And I'm, I, I'm not going to call an exterminator or bait them with poison or anything because I have dogs and I don't want anything to happen to my dogs. So that's my bitch and complain for the, for today anyways. I think I might start regularly posting this response to, um, Royale. <laughs> because I have a lot to bitch about usually. I'm not one of those sunshine and rainbows kind of people. So I can always find something to bitch about. And right now, that's my major bitch. Oh, and another bitch that I have is uh, I went to the mall yesterday and it was l packed. There was like not it was impossible to find a parking spot. And this was yesterday at like 1 in the afternoon. And all I could think is, why the fuck aren't these people at work? Like, I understand, you know, there's a lot of blue hairs that are retired and whatever, especially in my town. Or my city or whatever. It's like blue hair central. But the non-retired people, there were people there, like, all ages. And I'm thinking, how come these fucking kids aren't in school? And how come these people aren't at work? There was so many people. And it drove... I, I couldn't even stay. I couldn't even go into the mall. Because I knew that it was going to make me freak out. So yeah. That's my bitch and complaint. And that's it. Okay, bye.